does the black pill philosophy apply in nigeria and in africa or is it just something that only western men should understand now for those who don't know what the black pill philosophy preaches is that for men your physical looks are the pinnacle of what to get you women in the dating market regardless of the type of game you have or the type of understanding you have of women and everything it doesn't matter how cool you are how smooth you are or regardless of the amount of money you make as long as you don't fit into a specific threshold of good looks right physical looks facially and body wise you are not going to get girls to truly be attracted to you that is the black pill philosophy in, in a nutshell right this understanding has led a lot of men in the west right to check out of dating to just tell themselves you know what regardless of how hard i try how hard i try to improve or you know how smooth i get when it comes to talking with girls they are never going to truly or most of them would never truly like me because of what i look like like i am i look a certain way and most girls don't like men who look that way that is basically the mentality of a lot of men in the west who have consumed the black pill so in this video i am going to break down if the black pill philosophy has effect in nigeria and in africa in nigeria right being an attractive tall well-built man right definitely increases your options in women i have experienced this firsthand right i'm not a built guy but just off of my height just my height alone in university for example has gotten me looks from girls who would want to sleep with me based on just my height do you understand and so many other guys in nigeria can attest to this can attest to like a girl walking into a room for example or a, an event with her love you know the love of her life and just staring at you the entire time do you get what i'm saying there are so many girls who would take money from their supposed loves right the men who they say they love and give it to random men who don't give them anything in return do you get this is what like being physically attractive very physically attractive kind of gets you as a man do you get so it happens in nigeria as well now in as much as this is true right it is true that african and nigerian women you know care about what a man looks like care about a man's looks nigeria specifically is still a very underdeveloped country right so money is still an extremely important factor that women and girls look at before considering a man this is a double-edged sword you get what i'm saying this is a double-edged sword in the sense that on one hand you as a guy is kind of wary that wary of women who just want you for your money you get but on the other hand if you are not the most physically attractive man you're not the most good looking man right you know that if you can work hard enough and make a tangible amount of money your options in women increase exponentially in nigeria specifically it does you get what i'm saying and you could argue that these women might not love you genuinely right but some men really just need a woman who's going to be loyal to them you're loyal you're around you're you're friendly you're feminine you're beautiful you, you don't cheat right throw away genuine desire and give most men that that respect right that loyalty and they'll take it you get what i'm saying so that's something else um in the west money is not as big of a factor as it is here in africa and in nigeria you get what i'm saying um especially when it comes to hooking up women just hook up with the most attractive dudes in the west in nigeria women hook up with the richest dudes i'm not saying attractiveness doesn't play a part because like one thing i can guarantee you is in university right most <laughs> in uni when i was in uni for example right girls sleep with attractive guys they still obviously they still chase rich guys you get for the financial aspect and everything but if she found you really really attractive at, like your money was not that important but my entire point is if you are not then attractive in nigeria having money right puts you above even an attractive man who doesn't have money do you get what i'm saying in the west women don't generally think about how much a man makes when it comes to just sleeping with him dating him or hooking up with him do you get what i'm saying money only comes into consideration when they begin to think about settling down and marriage but in nigeria when it comes to hooking up dating marriage money is a huge factor the difference between dating here in africa and dating abroad is most of our dating is done face to face online dating is not that big like it's not as big as it is in the west do you get what i'm saying so most of our dating is done face to face even though a woman looks at a man online and says wow this man is really attractive and she goes on a date with this dude if he is not smooth if he is not confident if he is not calm if he seems like a soft man like a soft dude he exposes himself quickly 
Nigerian women hate soft dudes. Nigerian women dislike soft dudes. So you could look good online, right? You could talk to her online on IG. She goes through your page. Oh, this, this is a fine guy. And she goes on a date with you. After that date, your looks are suddenly not enough. You get what I'm saying? Your looks got you the date. It got you in the door. You get what I'm saying? But if you're not smooth, if you're not calm, if you don't have an, an attractive personality, you get what I'm saying? That's it. A lot of dating in Nigeria is face to face. So you can't get away with just having a, a nice face, right? And texting back and forth with her online. If you text back and forth with her online for too long, you get friend zoned immediately. Immediately. You get. So, like, most relationships, most dates in Nigeria occur face to face. And that is where being smooth, that is where having game comes into play. Another point against the black pill in Nigeria is men still approach women on the roadside. I know in the West, a lot of men are scared of approaching women because there's right now, like there's the entire Me Too movement going on. So most guys prefer to approach women online. Do you get what I'm saying? In Nigeria, it is not like that. We still approach women on the road. We approach women in public places, face to face encounter. Do you get what I'm saying? So a fairly good looking dude, I said fairly, I didn't say ugly dude. I said a fairly good looking dude. What most men would um, tag a five or a four or a six, right? As long as he's cool and charismatic, he can still get girls to really like him. Do you get what I'm saying? He can still get girls to be very interested in him. So if you asked me, right, the true black pill in Nigeria, right, what the black pill in Nigeria would state is, if you don't have money, you're not physically attractive, and you don't have game, as a man, you're doomed. That is the black pill in Nigeria, right? But if you're fairly attractive, or you're a four or a five, and you have a good amount of money and some game, you're fine. You're more than fine. What am I saying? You're, you're like you're in a perfect position, really, right? So, like I said earlier, in as much as it is a double-edged sword that um, women, uh, African women, want money, and you know you're you're not really sure if they're with you for your money or something else, I think it is still a better position to be in than to be completely doomed money or not as long as you're not physically attractive if you like the video hit the like button if you're new to the channel definitely hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one it will be